I think the point of Polygens is to teach you problem solving. And that's what you want to be good at. You want to be good at thinking and brainstorming. So by the time you come to college, you already have this fiery passion inside of you. Polygens strengthened my stance to be a mechanical engineer here at Northwestern. It was my junior year of high school. I was generally interested in building things and inventing things and just finding little problems and finding solutions for them. At the time, I thought that research was something that was exclusively for undergrads or college students. Polygens was my first time thinking that there could be an opportunity where I could do something and have a mentor who is a PhD candidate help me out in my research, but it's my research. Uh, and throughout high school, I don't think I've, I've ever seen anything like that. I built a device that melts snow off of your driveway for you, and it does it as cheap as a shovel, but as effectively as an electric snow plow. By the time we're done with the program, I had a working prototype. Currently, as we speak, actually, there's a patent being filed for this project. I never thought I would get a patent in my life, let alone this early in my, in my life. So I was really, really excited about that, and I wanted to do Polygens again. So my second time doing Polygens was actually after my freshman year of college. I created my own design of mechanical walkers or like legs for Mars rovers. Most of the time, if you're an undergrad, you end up working with like a professor or a postdoc, but you're working for them for their idea. Polygens, you get like full autonomy. It ends up being your idea. Now I go to Northwestern University. I'm studying mechanical engineering. I'm on the formula team. Every single year, we design, build, manufacture a car from scratch, and we go to competition at the end of the year. I'm also on the rocketry team, so I like to build and fly rockets as well. I think mentorship is extremely important, and it's become really apparent to me, especially after I came to college. And like working for, at, with Formula, for example, like there's a lot of instances where I could run my higher ups in the team through my design, and then they would point something out, and be like, "Have you considered doing that instead?" And that's usually why you want to have a mentor you trust or someone to give you feedback on your ideas. At least for starter engineers, it's a lot more helpful. Maybe the exact experiences that I worked on in Polygens, whatever softwares I learned how to use or whatever I learned how to build, maybe that's not something that's going to show up later in my career, but that's not the important bit. The important bit is believing in yourself and, and being confident in your problem-solving skills. Polygens isn't just STEM-related. If you're interested in social sciences, if you're interested in medicine, humanities, Polygens has literally every single type of field that you could be interested in. I learned a lot about engineering, but also a lot about myself.